Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This will be my last day with you all. We are out Monday. The market is closed. And uh, Tom will be back Tuesday for some of that great Tom O'Brien show goodness. Uh, the market is exhausted. We are down a little bit. Uh, the, the buying is kind of done for right now, at least today. Uh, GDX is up. The gold contract um, is actually moving down a little bit right now. Um, so we'll see how that pans out at the end of the day. Gold is in this just strange kind of position right now where, um, you know, a lot of things might suggest on the, uh, the superficial that should be going up, but uh, we're getting just kind of a mixed signal from it. So, again, I always defer to Tom. He's got the gold report. It is a uh, phenomenal uh, publication. Would really uh, recommend checking it out. Uh, NVIDIA is still up at 430 uh, you know, we were talking a little bit beforehand. We'll get into that at some point in the show um, regarding some of the smaller guys. And I really want to focus a little bit on AMD as well and how I think that, you know, while AMD might be getting battered right now um, relative to NVIDIA, uh, I, I think it's still a positive choice on the long term. We're going to take a look at Microsoft. That's down today, um, but it's been doing pretty well on the long term. And, uh, you know, this is really done uh, by its... Uh, Implementation, I suppose, of AI. Obviously, it acquired ChatGPT, or at least invested a large sum into ChatGPT to kind of add it into its Bing search. Um, but one of the big things that Microsoft does, you know, and they have Microsoft Azure, which is its cloud computing system. Uh, this is a pretty. I have a little bit of experience using Azure, and I've studied like how to use it a little bit and what you can spin off, the different kind of like networking options you have, um, you know, data storage and everything. And I have a close acquaintance of mine uh, who works uh, basically on Azure, right? He works for another company doing uh, security, uh, but he does Azure implementation. And what's going, these guys get paid an immense amount of money. Like they, get, they get compensated very well uh, for the skills that they have, right? One of the biggest, uh, you know, victims that, of AI will be like knowledge-based workers, okay? And so... You know, of course, he doesn't just work on Azure, but it's a major part of his job in securely implementing it. Um, but the way that it's going now is there are more and more AI options for Azure to the point, you know, that it'll be someone who doesn't really have any experience with Azure security um, is going to be able to implement uh, secure Azure environments because the AI is just getting so good at it. According to this article here, the company could pick up $10 billion more in annual artificial intelligence revenue from developers using its Azure Cloud or OpenAI models. Uh, JP Morgan analysts raised their price target on Microsoft stock Wednesday. Uh, of course, that rose quite a bit to 348 trading off that just a little bit at 343 uh, Microsoft is a major beneficiary of the rise of ChatGPT and tangential products on top of its hefty investment in OpenAI, which will pay off. Uh, the company provides the underlying computing power. Microsoft also has exclusive licenses on OpenAI's models, including the ChatGPT4 large language model that can spit out natural sounding words in response to humans' text input. We all know this. And of course, you know, the, the name of the game with this, and, and before ChatGPT had been acquired, or at least, you know, a large portion of it had been uh, basically taken over by Microsoft via their investment, um, what it was being used for was just very standard searches, right? And what it will soon really take over is you're just not going to have the need to have all these micro specializations, right? Like all these new tools that come out. Um, and, I, and, you know, I want to focus a bit on the cloud with that. Um, you're, it's not going to be as much of an investment on the individual. And I mean, you know, time uh, to learn how these tools work because AI will really control a lot of it, Right. There'll still be security around uh, the servers that control AI, and you'll have to have knowledge of how that works. Um, but very soon, you know, it just, in, in a way, it kind of just um, lowers the barriers to entry, I would suppose, um, a lot of this AI does. In the past four quarters, Microsoft has generated almost $208 billion in total revenue. Um, and he went deeper onto it because it's really good, uh, excuse me, because it is really a very good platform. We have lots of different ways uh, that 10 billion of ARR is going to show up first. Following the event, JP Morgan analysts lifted their price target from 350, uh, excuse me, to 2350. So, you know, we were right around there and had to sell off. But th essentially, these companies have so much cash flow and they just have enough to uh, basically invest in any kind of program. 
uh, that they're just going to absolutely dominate uh, the AI market. And uh, from that, we'll dominate cloud and kind of expand. And we see that a little bit with Amazon as well. We can pull that up. You know, they just recently acquired, they're, they're expanding in interesting ways into different kind of sectors in general, right? You know, they're doing um, pharmaceuticals for a while. And then, you know, today we're down a little bit. Again, this is kind of just an exhaustion in the market, but they purchased, uh, let's pull it up here for you. The Roomba. The Roomba Maker iRobot. Let's see if I can pull it up. Let's see. And this was up today significantly, up 20% almost. That got the UK approval. Uh, you, you know, basically those are antitrust regulators, and they have to uh, observe and see if there's any kind of, you know, monopolization occurring. Uh, the Competition and Markets Authority in the UK said it decided not to escalate its initial investigation because it concluded that the deal would not result in substantial lessening of competition. And that's really how Amazon's doing it, right? When you, when you buy into these different um, sectors, essentially, or, uh, you know, different kind of supply chains, it's a little bit hard to get hit by these kind of antitrust laws. Consumer groups have voiced concerns, however, that Amazon's purchase of uh, iRobot which makes room, of course, would widen the e-commerce giant's dominance in the smart home market. The acquisition is still facing review in the U.S. by the Federal Trade Commission amid worries about Amazon's growing market power. It's also under scrutiny by the European Union's executive arm, uh, which opened a review of the deal this month. It said iRobot has a modest U.K. market position, uh, already faces several significant rivals, and Amazon would have little incentive to give its products special treatment over rivals in its online store. But just being able to have these, you know, what may essentially become like Amazon generics, right, um, is a positive uh, for the company as a whole. And so that obviously enjoyed a really positive increase um, as well. Take a look at Meta. Meta's up a little bit today, been up and down, uh, trying to figure out. That's, a, I think, at least a positive look for the company is everything's being sold off pretty substantially. Um, and that, uh, of course, we're still down a little bit, but nowhere near that downdraft we saw on the open um, in a lot of other companies. Folks, stay tuned. We will be right back.